Hello there guys, welcome back once again to From the Ash. Great to have you here. Thank you for coming back for yet another Only Fools and Horses locations video here in Bristol. I listened, you guys are loving these videos and I've come back for a part three. I think this might be my final video in Bristol. I think I might better get all the remaining Bristol locations done in this video, that's the hope. But of course I will continue to film these videos for you all over the country, because Only Fools and Horses was actually filmed all over the UK. There were episodes filmed here in Bristol. There was one filmed in Brighton. There was one of course filmed in Hull, one in Margate. Um, I think there were some others filmed in London as well. Of course London because that's where Only Falls and Horses is set. Episodes were filmed in France, Amsterdam and in Miami. So let's see if the channel budget will stretch and I could even go and see the locations in those places too. But for today we're sticking to Bristol. I have actually already seen one location from Only Fools and Horses, kind of by chance. Um, I filmed here in part two, I filmed a couple of the locations on Gloucester Road in Bristol, um, which were used in the episode Dates, the police station and a pub that doubled as the Nags Head. And actually, somebody told me in the comments of that video that just across the road from that, was um, the place where Trigger, in the same episode, uh, Dates of Only Falls and Horses, is the uh, restaurant where Trigger takes his date, the Italian place, and Del Boy sees him go in there and says, I don't believe it, that's a woman. I found that today on the way in. I stopped to get some petrol, and I realized that I was in the same spot as that restaurant, so I quickly ran across and got a little shot of it, which I will insert here. So there you go, one Only Falls and Horses location done already, and I barely even started. This is a very interesting one from the episode Chance of a Lunchtime, season seven. I think it was episode one, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It was definitely in season seven. But this building here is where Dell inadvertently ends up having lunch with Raquel's artistic friend, Jules, the set designer. And from memory, they end up having a conversation about Elizabeth Taylor films. And where I'm stood right now, I think there used to be a garage here, because in the episode, Rodney and, um, what's his name, Alan Parry are over the road having a fill up of the old car and they spot Dell having lunch with him. I think the garage was here. I mean, that might have been filmed somewhere else and they might have just got the shot from over here. Uh, but there it is anyway. Um, it used to be a restaurant. It's now a, a coffee bar. It looks really nice in there actually. There's some nice looking cakes and pastries and stuff. Anyway, there it is. That's the next location. Let's move on to the next one. Here we go guys, this area features in the episode Heroes and Villains and this is where Rodney chases the mugger who stole the old lady's handbag. You can actually see this wall behind me right here appears in shot in the episode and uh, Rodney runs past here and then down towards this area right here that appears on camera now uh, which is where he corners the mugger but then the mugger very quickly realises that he could probably take Rodney and uh, chases him back this way. But anyway, this is a, there's a Tesco Express here now and a restaurant and different things. But, you know, it's one of those areas that sort of appears in every town, every city. You know, there's a few shops and a pub just over there and terraced houses. And it's just very normal. And actually, if you were walking past here, you wouldn't even know that uh, Only Fools and Horses was filmed here. So there you go. There's, there's hidden gems on every street corner. That's what I always say. If you, if you can't remember the scene, let me just once again, as I did in the previous video, crudely reenact it for you. There you go, you can remember it now, I'm sure, because that was, as, you, as I'm sure you're aware, a perfect reenactment. Anyway, I'm going to move on. We've got other places to visit. Let's crack on. I think this area here is where there was a fence, and this is actually where the mugger sort of stops about here and then realises he could probably take Rodney, and they run back that way. <laughs> Here we go guys, next location for you. Um, I've come to the edge of Bristol. We're actually just outside the city centre now, a couple of minutes drive from the last location. 
I think it took five minutes to get here. And this area right here is used as the Down by the Riverside Club in the episode of Only Fools and Horses called Stage Fright, which is, of course, where Del Boy first meets and recruits Tony Angelino, the singing bin man. Was it Singing Dustman? Singing Dustman, that was it. Uh, but that was right here in one of these buildings. I can't quite remember which one it was, but it was right here. Uh, this area is, there's hardly anyone around here now, actually. It's pretty disused. Um, quite, a, quite a lot of building work going on. Lots of work went around. Um, but yeah, this is the area anyway. I'll pop the location as always on screen uh, for you so that you can come and have a look. But to be honest, there's not a lot to see in this area. On to the next one. I've got my mask on because I'm indoors, but I'm in Broadwalk Shopping Centre uh, on the edge of Bristol, right here, Rodney Come Home. This is where the episode begins with Albert and Delboy coming up the escalator and they sell some hooky dolls right here as well uh, throughout the episode. So this is, uh, yeah, this is one that I was, wasn't sure where it was, but I found it finally after a lot of driving. So they come up the escalator right here at the start of the episode. It's actually the first shot of Rodney Come Home is them coming up the escalator like so. Um, and then later on in the episode, just behind me, right here, I think it is, is where Del Boy and Albert sell the dolls. There's a bench, or there used to be a bench round here where they actually had some uh, hamburgers as well uh, that Albert complained about but ended up enjoying. But I couldn't find that bench. I did have a look for it, but they must have removed it. Uh, so yeah, quite a bit of change here, but as you can see, some similarities as well. And uh, this is one that I didn't know if I'd be able to find this place. Um, I've been driving around for a little while, but like I say, it's called Broadwalk Shopping Centre and it is on the edge of Bristol. It seems like there's not gonna be a shopping center there, but then there is, so keep looking. So guys, I've come to Queen Charlotte Street, and this building right here, I think it was this building here anyway, was used in Only Fools and Horses as the Adult Education Centre in which Rodney and Cassandra first met. And of course, this is also, if you look just over my shoulder there, I have been here before. Um, I came here in episode one of my series, uh, which is where I found the one-to-one -one casino and also the bar where Del Boy falls through the bar. They're both in this area as well, just over there. But I had to come back and take a look at this building right here, the Adult Education Centre. I think it was this building here. I'm not 100% sure it looks a little different to what it did back then um, and then over here if you look here this is where Del Boy fell through the bar I've been here before and right here as well you've got a parking meter which uh, Del Boy hasn't put an out of order sign on this one it's actually amazing how much of Only Fools and Horses was filmed in such a small area of Bristol uh, most of the locations I've visited today I've only had to drive like five minutes one to the next to the next a couple more to do today so let's crack on get back to the car before I get a ticket I forgot to put my midwife on emergency call sticker on my car so who knows what I'm going back to. There we go guys, the one behind me right there is Boise's house, Boise and Marlene's house. Um, I remember it being used in the episode uh, where they get a satellite dish fitted, but this is obviously a residential area. Of course, people do live here. So I'm not gonna film the house loads, but if you are gonna come and have a look, please be respectful. Um, obviously this is where people live. I don't know if you can see right there, but right in there, in fact, I'll go this side so you can see it a bit better. Uh, that is where in the episode of Only Fools and Horses called Sleepless in Peckham, which is the final Only Fools and Horses episode, that is where Rodney goes to get the Jolly Boys outing photo containing his birth father, Freddie Robdall, developed. It's in there, there's quite a lot of, uh, you can see a lot of scaffolding and stuff going on around the building at the moment. But that's it, oh no, there's a bus, there it is, that's it. 
that's another one done. Uh, this one is right in the city centre, so very easy to find. Lots of really nice cafes and bars around here. But come and check it out, and hopefully when you come, there will be less scaffolding. Actually looks as though the shop itself may now be closed. It's all boarded up, and it doesn't, I've looked up really close to the window. It doesn't look like there's actually any stock inside. So there we go, sadly another Only Fools and Horses filming location that's fallen into disrepair. Couple left to go, and then we're all done. Right then guys, I'm actually coming up to a, another Only Fools and Horses uh, location in Bristol. Uh, but this one I'm gonna do from the car and I'm actually on it right well I'm just approaching it now uh, I'm approaching what they call the bear pit it is a roundabout in the city center of Bristol uh, and the only I actually didn't know that I was going to be passing through this area but I'm fairly sure in fact I'm 99.9 percent .9 certain that the bear pit features in the episode Heroes and Villains when Dell and Rodney are on their way to go and uh, go to the costume party. They're both dressed as Batman and Robin at this point, although we don't know that at this point actually. Um, and from one of the tall buildings in the area, there is a wide shot of this roundabout and it shows the three-wheeled van going around it. I think Dell and Rodney are having a conversation along the lines of, five o'clock in the morning we're leaving. You said it was only gonna be a couple of hours. That's what Rodney says. And then Del Boy says, well, yeah, I know, but you can get involved, don't you? Something like that. Um, so I think that happens right here. I'm actually on the roundabout now. I literally have no idea I'm going. I'm just kind of, I'm just going wherever the sat nav tells me to go. Yeah, anyway, this is the uh, this is the bear pit. It's another Only Fools and Horses location ticked off the list. Kind of found it by accident because I'm actually on the way uh, to go and find the place where Rodney speeds past the police in the three-wheeled van in the episode Dates when he's on a date with Nervous Neris. Um, I'm actually on the way to go and find that location right now. So ended up passing through here. So I quickly scrambled to get my camera and put it on for you guys and uh, yeah, there you go, another one ticked off the list. So guys, my final stop on my Only Fools and Horses tour of Bristol is here in Filton, which is in the north of the city. This area you may recognize, again, from the episode of Only Fools and Horses called Dates, where um, Del Boy and Raquel meet for the first time, although this isn't uh, where that happens. However, this is where Rodney uh, chases the, uh, there's a convertible car that's chasing him um, in the three-wheeled van when he's on his date with Nervous Neris. That scene actually happens right here. And where I'm stood now is where um, Rodney runs the red light and ends up causing a crash involving a police car um, so yeah that, that all happens literally right here and I can only tell it happens here because there is a lay-by in shot and I'm actually parked in the lay-by right now but also I'll just show you this see that house there with the chimney breast going up through you can actually see that in shot as well which is the only reason that I was able to figure out it was here that that scene actually took place but again a very normal looking road lots of houses lots of people here kids coming home from school you would never know that one of Britain's most famous sitcoms was actually shot right here on this road and again a really famous scene that one that is one of everybody's favorites when you talk about hilarious scenes when the free world van does the uh, speed bump and the roof rack like flapping around on the top brilliant scene really really funny so yeah glad I was able to find this one bit of an obscure one this one but again a good one to uh, to come and visit now I believe some shots were also filmed down this road here which is called Roycroft Road so some of it was filmed down there the lay-by I mentioned is back that way but if you go down this way I also seem to remember a shot where the free wheel van comes along here and almost runs over a couple of people that are stood in the road here and then it bends off to that side as well. So this is just a little bit further down the road from where the uh, police car crash happened. <laughs> Guys, look at this. It looks like I'm not the only Only Fools and Horses fan to have been in the area. Trigger was here. And there we go guys, I think I've seen everything in Bristol that involves Only Fools and Horses. I've probably missed some smaller ones out, uh, but I think I've done the most of it, uh, particularly in this video. It's been a crazy day. I've been on the go since 10 a.m. this morning. It's now nearly five. So I've been out all day exploring Bristol for you and showing you uh, the only other Only Fools and Horses locations that I hadn't already visited in parts one and two. So we've done a pretty good job, I think. But I love Bristol, really nice city. If you get the opportunity to come here and explore then please do it and there is a lot of Only Fools and Horses history here um, as I've said in other videos still to this day one of the funnest
funniest shows ever made on British TV. I've loved looking around Bristol and seeing all these old places. You know, it's just reminded me of how good the show actually is. Thank you so much for watching this video here from Bristol. Um, I will be back for more episodes of uh, this series, particularly somewhere like Brighton, Hull, uh, Margate, you know, London, of course, we're gonna be doing one there. So stay tuned for those, subscribe for more of those videos, and I'll see you real soon for some more content as well. Take care guys, see you later, bye bye.